Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today, I'm going to show you how to draw face shapes. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests to do the same video, but with better lighting. And I have better lighting for the most part. And I figured, why not try this video one more time? So, here we are. Let's get started. Now, I apologize for the circles not... I Sorry, I apologize for the circles not being, like, aligned correctly like this. But I just try to space it out. So, I, so you guys can see the entire page because um, my camera lighting, or not the lighting, the camera angle isn't the best. So I'll just try to move it around a little bit so you guys can see the entire thing. But that's what I did. Okay, so let's get into the video. So for the first face shape, I'm going to show you how I normally draw faces. At least ones I do almost all the time. So I'm just going to start out with this. And um... With, with drawing face shapes, I like to start with a circle. That's why there are circles everywhere. And what I like to do is I, I like to add a second shape to it. So in this case right here, you have a circle. And what I like to do for um, almost all the time is I like to add a diamond. So we're just gonna sketch in a little bit of a diamond right here. See, that's almost like a diamond, but we're only gonna use this outer portion here. So let's let's do that. See how see how um when I go go out the circle, it's gonna come around and make almost that diamond shape. And then for the ear. And just keep in mind the ear shape. That's something you have to map out before you add the face shape. So just let me sketch those lines in. So you just, um, so you're just gonna want to go like almost towards the bottom of your circle. So it's something like this, and your ears on like the other side, depending on where your thing your uh, face is, is uh, facing. So if it's facing this way, it's on the it's the ears on this side, and if you're facing this way, the ears on the other side. At least that's what I like I like to do all the time. But you can add a second ear on the other side if you like. So just just to let you know that. But yeah, so here is the diamond. If you guys can see that with all the muddy sketch lines, just like, uh, let me bring out my highlighter so you can see this real quick. See how I add the diamond. All right. So next we're gonna um, do the same thing, except we're gonna add a square. So this is almost a little bit challenging. And add a square. This is almost like a rectangle, but pretend it's a square. So I'm gonna come out a little bit to make the cheek, and then we're gonna come back down towards the actual square. And then we're gonna come back up and place the ear. And like so. And then the neck placement is gonna be like a little bit right here. The neck placement is gonna be right here too. And so, yeah, it's gonna have like a little bit of a flat chin. Let me sketch that in there. So that is the square. All right, next we're gonna add another circle. So we're gonna add circle plus circle. So it's gonna have a bit of a fat, uh, like a bit of a fat, um, a fat face, a fat chin or whatever. So we're gonna come around, and we're not just gonna go out and then back in. Well, that's what we're kinda doing over here. So we're gonna go out, and then back around. And then it's sometimes, I always feel the need to add like a little bit of a boot chin. Like so, something like that. And then come back around and make, and go around towards the ear. And then there is your circle face shape. And it's kind of like an oval, oval circle. Um, you could add either one, but for this case, I want to uh, make it a circle, even though it's most like, um, it's almost like an oval. 
I'm gonna just let you guys know that now. All right, next we're gonna add a rectangle. Now the rectangle is gonna be, um, you know how pictures are in its uh, portrait, you know, something like that. So let me just scoot this down so you guys can see the rest of that. I'm gonna sketch in the rectangle. And we're gonna do our same method. And then we're gonna come way back up and place the ear. And let me add these lines in here too. So it's almost like the square, except the except it's a little bit longer. That's why I had the square up here. And then the neck placement. And the ear. And then the circle. So let's get that rectangle in there. It is almost like a square a little bit, except it's longer. Okay, so next we're gonna add a triangle. Now, instead of it being a diamond where you curve in, sorry, where you curve out and then back in, we're, we're gonna do almost the same thing, except we're not gonna go outward as much because it's a triangle. So we're gonna do that. Sketch that line in place. And with this triangle, you want to go a little bit inward. So you want to make this type of shape and then go around. I'm trying to explain this the best way possible. So just to show you how to do it. And then when you come to this point, this is where you curve back up. And then this is where you place the ear. And sometimes you may mess up with this because I just kind of did. That's why I had the, um, the circle where I placed it. I had to move it over a little bit. Erase this extra line. Erase this line. And then add that line of placement. And then over here, this is where the eye is. One eye is the other. And then for the triangle one, you are pretty much done. All right, and for the, uh, for the last one, we're gonna do a little bit of a pentagon shape, a pentagonal shape. So we're not gonna make it a big pentagon, but we gotta, um, gonna like overlap the circle a little bit when we're doing this method. Make that line to place the ear. So we're gonna go a little bit outward. Then we're gonna come down like we did over here with the rectangle one. And come down. It makes almost like a pointy chin. And then he has a strong jaw over here. So this one's gonna be a little bit straight because it looks almost like this one I did up here. So it's gonna come down instead of like out in. All right, and then there it is. So for this one, you don't wanna make the chin too pointy even though uh, when you're doing this method, you may have the temptation to do that, but just be mindful of that. But um, if you're doing a pencil, you can all you can always like change it up a little bit. So that's why I recommend you don't do this with in um in a pen or any marker or whatever. And then the eye placement is gonna be right here where we place the ear. So this is the eye line and the nose and then the mouth chin. But I'm gonna leave that for a different video. So let me sketch in the pentagon. pentagonal shape and then there you go this is how you drew 
do a face shape and just just to let you know this again this is the one i always do and um yeah so just to let you guys know that so um yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful and i hope my lighting is better than before so if you like this video and you found it helpful give it a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week and i'll see you in my next video